I had a day off work, the sun was shining, so I set out on the bike to the marshes in hope of filming some birds and their chicks. Little did I know, I was going to get a whole lot closer to some chicks than I'd expected. Have you got it? Yeah. No. Mum's right here. Oh, in you go, guys. Come back here to Mum. Where's Mum? I think I think this is too dense for them to get through. She's not going to come out, is she? Well, she can't. There's no way she can take off there. Okay, I've got these two. It looks like these Canada goose goslings have made their way from the nature reserve to the open field, and have then been chased along the outside of the fence by dogs to a point where the undergrowth is so thick that it's pretty much impossible for them to find their way back to the parent bird on the other side. If I can get over there, I'm going to slice myself to pieces, but I'll make a path through. Well, that's tough to get over there. Isn't it? Well, you're going to get so scratched up. It's worth it though, isn't it? Look It'll at them. Hero. <laughs> Look at them. They're worth taking a few scratches for. With three babies in safe hands, I managed to climb over the fence and used my tripod to hack through the dense brambles and stinging nettles to the woodland beyond. Just pretty thick going. Once I get past these next few metres, it eases off. By this time, there was no sign of the adult birds, but with a good chance of them returning, we took the decision to leave the goslings that have been caught here. One. I'm just going to put them down there. I'll put them in here. Off the right hand, we pull my head so bad. I could just do the whole jumper through. No. Right. Okay. Oh, you're so cute. Now we have to slide down there. Oh, sorry, guys. That was a little bumpy. You guys stay in there. Back on the other side, the three remaining goslings have reappeared. Well, the other two went back in. So now we've got one. It was now a case of trying to catch the other two. Oh, look. I think your brother and sister's coming to join you, love. There's one. Let's let it go a little further. Should we stick them in this jumper together? Yeah, do you want to do that? Because they were quite happy when they were together. Can't talk now, I've got a handful of geese. <laughs> After searching for some time for chick number six without any luck, I decided to cycle around to the nature reserve rather than hopping over then crashing through the bushes again and risking disturbing the parent birds who I hoped by this point had made their way back to the babies I'd left in my bike helmet. Two geese in a bag. Arriving in the reserve, it was clear the right call had been made. I was greeted with the sight of both adult birds. Hey, Mum and Dad. Together with the chicks that had been left for them. Who's that? Who's that? As the other two goslings made their way back to the family, I suddenly realised that one of the first three to be rescued was missing. Oh, shit. Oh. This is turning into a workout. Pick that up later. After searching where I'd left them and the surrounding area without any joy, 
I then rode back out once again to search the other side of the fence. So this is the way they would have come back. No sign here. So I returned to the reserve. And to my relief, look what I found. I don't know which way your mum and dad went, mate. You come here. It's all right. Are you pecking me? Let's go and find mum and dad. You quite often see Canada geese here, but no sign. Where else would they go? I've got so many cloth bags. Why did I bring the one with the hole in? Then I had a stroke of luck. A little thing. I met Susan, a bird watcher whose local knowledge convinced me not to leave just yet. Just been told that they've nested just over here. So I'm going to hang around a bit longer now. I was going to try and find a rescue centre. If they're nesting nearby, it's definitely better off with mum. And as Susan went off to check a few places the geese frequent, I had another lucky break. The young guy who was here just a minute ago didn't want to be on camera, fair enough. And he's just come running back saying he's found them. So I'm going to go and have a look and see if we can get them back together. Now I wouldn't normally go charging off around restricted areas of a nature reserve, but sometimes you've got to bend the rules for the greater good. Find its way. Trying to fall in. Again, I found myself blocked by brambles, so with no way I could reach down to the water, it was time for the birds' first flying lesson. Ready? Go to mum. Not too graceful, but no harm done. Yes. Here they come. Other way, little thing. home with more nettle stings than I care to count and a good few bramble scratches. It was more than worth it. There's no way I can take full credit for this. Had it not been for the lady who was out for her morning run, Sorry, I've forgotten your name. None of these chicks would have made it back to their parents. Then Susan, whose knowledge of the nature reserve and its inhabitants was crucial. And finally, the lad who found the parent birds. If you guys hadn't have got involved, the outcome would have been very different. So thank you. And please everyone, be careful with your dogs around birds, especially at this time of year.